Welcome to Let's Play Go Nine Part Cinco. This is Ron Moore along with Bio Phoenix and Jeff. Hello, everyone. With Bio Phoenix here. They, they call me Pushy Pushy Galore. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and the alignment is off in this video. It looks horrible, but as Ken Kenji and Funime, whatever his name man says, it's it's better than nothing. Re recorded on Ronnie's 1997 Pam Sonic video camcorder. Apparently so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had a lot of problems with this one, but at least the actual gameplay footage and the audio is great. So there we go. It cost me eight thousand dollars for this camcorder and it won't even record straight. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Look at. Okay, I got the paint paintball mode enabled. And look, look, those aren't paintballs. That's like rainbow NES connectors uh, for your cartridge or something. Looks like a bunch of uh, volume button. Yeah, really. That's know, weird. The volume. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I got uh, the invincibility cheat here, infinite ammo, all guns, and yeah, I already set off the alarm. So you have all guns, but yeah, you're still using a pistol? Come on, what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I, I know, right? Well, there we go, switching up a little bit. I was trying to be a little stealthy, quote unquote, and try not to make any mistakes yes. here, because even though you're, I'm cheating, I can still fail missions. Says, says Ronnie, who just got himself every weapon. Come on, Ronnie, you played this game. Uh, uh, dude, it's more fun to cheat in this game. There's so many it's awesome more, this it's, it's, it's more fun to cheat, man. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not cheating, you're not trying. <laughs> Don't let Boris get killed. Oh no, he was the I, best of my character. <laughs> I am invincible! <laughs> Put your hands down, Jeff. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I can't do a good uh, British person faking a Russian person impersonation. It just doesn't work. <laughs> you know who that? You know who that actor's name is? Alan Cummings. He's got like the worst name ever. Oh. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's this world coming to? Uh, <laughs> uh, this guy. Ronnie just, take. This guy making a Star Soldier face. He's like, there's a bunch of the same faces. Ronnie takes my R-rated jokes and turns them into PG every day. Yeah. It's funny how he's just like casually walking around with people shooting guns in his direction. Yeah. <laughs> Could y'all like shut up and leave me leave us alone? He's trying to up Oh oh well, shoot! Well, well. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. No, Otacon died. Otacon wearing a Hawaiian t shirt. <laughs> Skip Rogers would say this. Till I have Otacon, I'll activate the mainframe computer. I'm too busy looking at hot anime chicks. Yeah. My Japan maze. <laughs> it's like one of my Japanese animes. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so let's try this again. Only I could fail while still cheating. Speaking of Metal Gear, I, I was dating a girl at the time. Luckily, it's not one I'm married to. Um, and she wanted to go see the voice of Raiden uh, from Metal Gear Solid. She's like, yeah, let's go see him. And he's like, such a shill. He's like, yeah, $25 to autograph and uh, get out of my way. It's like, hey, well. Huh. Oh, um, Quentin Flynn? Yeah, it's kind of a little douche. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of disappointing. Because I actually like a few roles that he's done and, like, other stuff. Like, like he f appears friendly on the internet, but in real life, as far as what I've seen, I've helped run a couple cons, and he was at one of them. Like I said, and it was uh... anyway. Yeah, that, that's that's cool. that. Oh yeah, G give me David, David Hater any day of the week. <laughs> don't be a David Hater. Oh, yeah, don't be such a hater. <laughs> I want to be Cam Clark. Yeah, that'd Who's be. That? Dope. I know that name. Who is that, Ronnie? The voice of Liquid Snake and Leonardo. Oh yes, brother. <laughs> Yeah, he plays in a lot of stuff. He's always oh, usually really good. Yeah, there's an interview online. I forgot the website, but uh, they interviewed him during a podcast, and it was pretty fun. Oh, yeah. I actually uh, maintain a pretty decent friendship with uh, Paul Eating, the voice of Colonel Campbell, and he's like in everything. Cool. Oh, dude, he's amazing. We he get really him. is. We should get him as a message to K commentary. Yes. yes, let me just call him. I'll just, I'll just send him a quick uh, email. Mr. Eiding, I know you're pretty busy traveling from California to Australia all the time, but maybe maybe you could spend 10 minutes on our ST2K um, Let's Play of GoldenEye. 
Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, you just missed our LP of Metal Gear Solid. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. You know, actually, the story of the Twin Snakes is pretty interesting. David Hayter took a huge pay cut to get all the original cast back. Yeah, that's right. I heard about that. Yeah, uh, Paul was telling me about it. It was it was pretty interesting. He's like, yeah, I heard, I heard they were doing it, but I, I heard they were going to get new voice actors. And he's talking to David. He was like, no, no, I took a big pay cut. You guys are all coming back. You're all getting paid. Now, wait a minute. There was some that did not come back. No, I, I know. Well, some some couldn't, and there was a lot of other reasons, but the majority of them did. I All think right. Neil was one of them that wasn't, I think. And Meryl, I think, too. Meryl? Okay. And Naomi. I'm not sure, but... I thought Naomi was the same, but I could be wrong. I mean, I might be wrong. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to take out this camera and that guard with the rocket launcher here. <laughs> I always like the sound effects of the... Um... What? Oh, look at that! <laughs> You know, you know. Let, let's get back to Go Nair for a second. I always found interesting that the, you know, the company made this. They used those SGI computers, those like weird, uh, crazy color-looking computers with like, you know, back in 1997, it had the processing power like 500 megahertz when you're barely s shoving around your 32 megahertz Pentium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> I try to get away. See, so I had like two bazookas for a sec. It's like crazy shit. A taser Hazel. boy. <laughs> there you go. Alright, Jeff, take me to the mainframe terminal. Now! Uh, no! No! You hey, know I'm what? A... I don't feel like it. <laughs> you know I'm a hardware guy in real life. I don't do much software. You might need another person. Oh, yeah, well. My, oh, favorite, right game there. On the My favorite game on the taser boy is <laughs> like <it> Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, I stunned him. <laughs> He's not moving. <laughs> You, uh, you know, I I just want to give a hearty um, uh, oh, a hearty red letter media, media. How embarrassing for all the actors who had to digitize their faces. It's like, oh yeah, you're gonna look, you're gonna look just like in real life, and then you see it, and you're like, oh, how embarrassing. Yeah, have, have you seen that meme I shared on Facebook where it shows Steven Seagal, and it says, uh, why does Steven Seagal look like the guy you shoot on the toilet in Goldeneye? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, That's if you ever seen, yeah, if you ever seen that, you gotta check that out. Oh no, I just yeah, yeah, it's a little few days ago. That's right. All right, with my digital camera here. There we go. Nice. You know what a digital camera looks like in 1997? You're getting like half a megapixel. You're not gonna see garbage. Right. <laughs> uh, you know what? Dang it! I failed the mission already because I stunned Boris. He can't move. Oh no. He's the one that has to activate this uh, mainframe right here for me to download the information. You, you go back you go back to M with your pictures and she's like what 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 is this I can't tell is it a screen of some sort right yeah <laughs> like back in the day Nintendo power where you try to take a picture of your high score and you take it to the photo store and it looks like oh, crap. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's too exposed the flash is a problem <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. All right, come on, Jeff. Let, I mean, uh, Otacon. I mean, uh, Boris. Let's just <laughs> get, get going here. Knockers. Knockers. Ha ha ha. Oh, you idiot! He he, he directs internet porn for a living now. Yeah. Well, at least he activated the mainframe, so now I can uh, download data. Since I remember how. <laughs> how do I do this? Guards are coming up to him. What is he doing? I don't know. He's looking at his watch. Right. <laughs> and, oh, the data thief. There we go. This is how nice. you download stuff off the internet in 1997. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's so incorrect. You gotta run it to the... You gotta run it to a... Um, uh, it could be a phone line or it could be a, just a parallel port. So you gotta rig it up. Oh, you got the wrong drivers for the data. The data grabber. You gotta sit there. Yeah. Try to find the correct drivers. Where'd I put that floppy disk? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's get out of here. Done with this place. Whoa! Apparently they're, not. Here, they're here to send me off. <laughs> we can't seem to shoot this guy. It's like he's got some barrier around him. All right. All right. And on this beautiful night, I escaped the bunker, Archie Bunker, into <laughs> the Siberian wasteland. <laughs> yeah. Mission failed. Oh wait, no. All right, so. That is the end of part five of the bunker. See you guys in part six. The silo. Until then, Fish and mailed. Yeah. Later, guys. All right. See you. Bye-bye.